as soon as Rex. Okay, great. If you wanna... uh, we wanted to start this afternoon by observing a moment of silence for uh, one of our employees who passed away a few weeks ago. Uh, and we're gonna turn it over to Diana Singleton, who's offered to, to share some brief remarks. Hi, everyone, can you hear me okay? Okay, great. Um, well, I'm Diana Singleton. For those of you that may not know me, I'm the Chief Equity and Justice Officer at the Bar Association. And I lead the Equity and Justice team. And as many of you know, we lost our Equity and Justice lead, Amani Shannon, um, who unexpectedly passed away on September 21st. Uh, Amani joined the Bar staff um, only a year and a half ago. And in that short period of time, um, as those of you who've worked more closely with Amani know that they've amazingly impacted um, not only um, our volunteers and our staff, uh, but our members at large as well. Um, and whether that was through uh, serving as the staff liaison to the DI Council um, or doing DI trainings for our volunteers or writing um, articles for our bar news. Um, there's so many people who have been impacted by Amani and um, being someone who worked very closely with them, um, I saw every day they believed in our mission and our values and they thought very um, proactively about how to put our mission into action. Um, so I just wanted to share a short reflection about Amani from uh, my team um, and other reflections, including from some of you in that room, um, will be published in our next Bar News issue. So I encourage you to, to look for that. Uh, but the reflection from my team is the following. <clears throat> Amani was a rare and beautiful soul. They invited everyone around them to be their full selves and always spoke up for change when they saw that people couldn't. They were a brilliant storyteller and visionary and used their talents to help people heal and change systems that caused harm. <clears throat> Amani showed us how much strength and power lies in kindness, laughter, and courageous vulnerability. We can all honor Amani by continuing the fight for justice and liberation for all. So I'd like to invite you to join me in a moment of silence in honor of Amani. And I invite you in this moment of silence to think about how you personally can champion justice. So please um, join me. All right, thank you so much. I really appreciate um, your recognition. Um, President Clark. President Clark, I do have one thing to add about Amani. She was uh, a person that was very important to me because she taught me things about identity. And, um, they taught me things about identity. And her family um, asked that in her memory to donate to the Lavender Rights Project. Thank you, Nancy. 